course, the new album is How Will I Smile Tomorrow When I Can't Even, when, How Will I Laugh Tomorrow? It's, it's these, you gotta, let me do it again. How Will I Laugh Tomorrow When I Can't Even Smile Today? You gotta explain this, because this is, this is very much what the band is about, right? Yeah, uh, basically it's um, confusing, I guess, because everyone has a hard time saying it. But uh, to us it means something to other people, it may not mean anything, but basically, uh, you know, when, we get down, when you get down to it, people, some people say they want to be rich, they want to be this and that. Most important thing in the world is being happy. And I mean, if you're not happy today, you're not going to wake up and be happy tomorrow. And we take that in a positive approach and say, well, you know, if you're not happy, you need to do something about it. And you know, there's a lot of things that may happen in your life, which may be bad luck or may not seem to be fair, but you have to take that and, you know, work towards being happy because that's the bottom line. And the most important thing in the world is being happy. And it's something you have to work for, but it's something that's worth working for. Now, uh, people, uh, a lot of people say, you know, their lyrics are very dark and, and negative, but obviously this is not what you're trying to say with the songs. Well, it's, you know, it's to us, it's very positive. I mean, like, there's a lot of situations, you know, that happen in my life and, and everyone's life where you look at it and you say that it's, it's well, you know, like, why, why did it happen to me? You know, it's not fair. And then later on, you see that same situation and you thought it was bad and it ended up being a good situation because you learned from it and something that happened further down the line, it, it made it a lot easier to handle with, you know? And it's just how you look at things, you know? There's positives and everything. And now sometimes things happen, you go, wow, I wish it didn't happen. But you say, hey, what's good's gonna come out of this and what's the positive? And it's all how you look at things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there have been a lot of misunderstandings about the name of the band and uh, and the songs. Also, how has that changed over the over the over the course of the years? Well, I think uh, basically the people that have, with the misunderstandings and that uh, think that it's negative are basically people that are not to use the word older, but people that don't buy our records and don't listen to our music. And you know, we we we've been on tour now for I guess like seven weeks, and we've toured many times. You know, we've been a band for five years, and we get letters from the people, and we talk to the people that are into the band, and we, and and you see those people, and they believe very strongly, and it, and you see the positive stuff that it's doing, you know. And so that's all that matters to me is the people that get the records and this and that, and what some psychiatrist says or some mother or something says. <laughs> I really don't care about, you know, because she doesn't know and it's easier for them, you know, to have a scapegoat than to say what the problem is, you know, and it just goes down to like all the lawsuits they got now with Ozzy Osbourne and Judas Priest and parents saying that they, you know, their kids kill themselves because of the music. Well, if, you know, my kid has, you know, is uh, got, listening to one record, has got more influence on them than 18 years of me bringing them up as a parent, you know, they want to put those people on trial, they should put the parents on trial, that's the way I look at it. And we'll be talking more with suicidal tendencies in just a bit right after a trip at the Braid, their video. Uh, New York, but never from Venice Beach. Uh, what's the scene like in Venice Beach for the benefit of the people who don't know what it's like? It's a nice place to grow up and get in trouble into. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a nice place to bring kids up. Uh -huh. It's basically, you know, it's home, I guess. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of tourists there. It's got the Venice Beach thing that everyone, oh, I want to go to Venice Beach and this and that. but. You know, it's it's nothing spectacular, but I I know. <laughs> then again, I don't work for the Chamber of Commerce, so <laughs> obviously. Now, the, the name "Suicidal Tendencies" comes from a, a Venice Beach ga a street gang. Is that correct? No. Or it has. This is what I was told. There's something I know to do with it. Nothing about. It's not a gang. It's a bicycle club. A bicycle club. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know nothing about that. It's not true at all. Just a bicycle club. <laughs> <laughs> BMX, right? Um, I had to ask Soy Dong about that one. How about um, uh, what, what you guys wear? Is, it, is, you know, like a, is this what, what people are wearing in, in the Venice Beach area? Is this the dress code? Some people are different. Some people are you know, no different. We like to be where we, we wear like to be wear, comfortable. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, what we've been wearing, I've been wearing dressing since I was a kid like this, you know, a lot of my clothes that I got, it got from my dad and stuff. And, you know, some people don't like the way we dress, well, that's their problem. I mean, I don't like the way some people dress, that's, you know, I don't care, I don't say nothing about that. And, you shouldn't judge a band you know, by their clothes. That's the whole thing, when we start <laughs> out, people say, you know, you guys are good, but you never make it looking like that. I go, looking like what? The way you look. I was born ugly, you know? I can't, <laughs> I can't help that, you know? But the whole thing is, when we got into music, we got into, you know, I'd hear a song and I liked it. It's not like, oh, do you see this picture of this band? I never heard them. I'll go buy the record. You know, it's all about the music. And that's yeah. what we're about. And, you know, when people say, oh, I don't like the guys, those guys. You see how they look and stuff? That's more a reflection of them than it is on us. And I really don't care, you know? Well, speaking of dress codes, wait until you see longer. A lot has happened to this band in the past five years. I mean, there was an appearance on Miami Vice, uh, the, the Repo Man soundtrack. Uh, what else are you shooting for? Is there anything that we should know about that's coming up soon? 
We're just trying to make good music and keep doing it, you know. Those things came up. We weren't really trying to get on, like, Miami Vice or things like that. We were approached for it, mm -hmm. and, you know, it helped us out. And we're just keep trying to make better music. Is, is playing live really important to you guys, yeah. more important than recording the records? No, I think it's everything's important in its own sense. You know, it's important to, you know, to get in the studio and do a record. And that's what we did when we did this record and do something that you're real happy with and you believe. And then when you believe in it, it makes it all easier to get on the road and get out there and then see people that believe in it as much as you. And then after you play, when they leave, you know, reaffirming that with like, whoa, you know, and really being into it. And that's really important. And the, and the whole thing is, we, you know, we did a record we really believe in and we believe it's really important. And, you know, we've seen, you know, the effects that it's had on a lot of people. And that's like makes us believe all the more. And so, like, you know, we're going to be touring pretty much the next 10 months, but at school, because that's what we want to do, and to be able to do something that we like and be in a situation where there's people there that really dig what we're doing and are really into it, that's the coolest thing, and that makes us the lucky, luckiest people in the world, and we really appreciate that, you know? And we put out our music because we think it's good, and we want people to have a chance to hear it, you know, so they can make that decision, because I know there's a lot of other people that like it, and, you know, we want people to have that chance to be able to hear it, because hopefully they'll like it as much as a lot of other people, because we really think it's good, so. So you're going to be on the road for you said the, the next 10 months at least yeah all across america uh, well we're going in two weeks we're going over we're finishing off this tour we're going over to europe then mm -hmm. we're coming back then we're going to australia and japan then we're coming back we'll be back in the states and stuff and uh you know so it's all over the world yeah, yeah. All, over the world. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we'll be looking forward to you when you you know when you're back in our area drop by please and uh, mm -hmm. thanks for hanging out with us in the headbangers ball no problem thank you and right now we continue with more music for you here's halloween and i want out <laughs> 